random spots in my area. That is what we're doing today. Oh, there we go. Nice fish right there, y'all. There's a bite, got him. Oh, he's in the rocks, he's in the rocks. Come here, real good fish, get up. What's happening, folks? Welcome to another video. I put up a poll on my YouTube channel and you guys said, hey, Brent, go hit some random spots that you never fished before and try to be successful. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Check out where we're starting. We are right here at the base of the bridge at a park. Now this park has been closed for years since the hurricane. So I have not fished this area by land ever. I'm getting a little bit of a late start this morning, but let's get to fishing. So I'm starting off this morning throwing this Miradine lure right here. And I, I love throwing this guy around rocks. And as you can see, this area that we're fishing is covered with rocks. And this guy right here will produce a reaction strike. Got a lot of wind today. I apologize if the audio is a little out of whack, but we're gonna start fishing right here. And the goal for this video is to catch something edible that we can take home and eat at a random spot. We got a ton of moving water. So I'm, ooh, so I'm hoping this looks like a really good ambush spot right here. I haven't gone out and threw Meridines in a very long time. So I'm excited. I'm loving this moving water. There's bound to be a fish in here. It looks like they've still got this area blocked off, so I really don't know if I'm supposed to be fishing here or not. Huh, interesting. Oh, come on. It looked like I saw something flash on it that time. <clears throat> That's encouraging. So I'm just, I'm just hoping I'll, I'll catch something. One fish, one keeper fish would make my morning. Oh, there we go. Nice fish right there, y'all. Heck yeah. Come on. First bite of the day. That's a good one, too. What are we working with here? That's a real nice fish. He hammered that Miradine. <laughs> oh, look at there. Nice trout, dude. Hey, first fish of the day is a keeper. How about that? Come on, get up here. That's a good one, too. Check this out, y'all. First fish of the morning, really nice keeper speckled trout. I, I don't remember the last time on my channel that I've even caught a speckled trout. So this guy is going home for dinner. How about that to start the day, going back with the Miradine here. Love it. That was a quality fish too. I'm gonna try a little live bait now. I did bring a few live baits with me just to see if that's gonna make a difference in getting bit or not. They kind of quit biting artificial. I didn't get another bite on artificial, so I'm hoping that I can get bit on uh, live bait here. We'll see. There we go, there's a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, first live bait in and I caught a ladyfish. How funny is that? 
Okay. So it's a lady fish, poor man's tarpon. Go with a little live pinfish here this time. Just see what happens. Apparently there's some fish here. All right. So there are a bunch of rocks out here and I'm just gonna kind of let these baits just kind of run along the rocks and see if I can get picked up. Got him, got him. Oh man, oh no, I'm on, I'm on. Good fish too. Come here, get up, get up, get up. Real good fish, real good fish. Get up, get up. I got him, I got him, come on. Yes, heck yeah, what a fish, nice. 14 inch mangrove snapper right here, free lined, no weight. That is an awesome catch for a spot that I haven't hit in forever. All right, let's get another little live bait going. That was awesome, man. That was a good fish, another good fish. Ah, that is so cool. Let's just see what we can do. Chucking these live baits out. You want to keep a very tight drag. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they're, ah, I got a needlefish. You dummy. All right, here's another species. Look at this, y'all. I got a needlefish. <laughs> oh, he's off. He's off. Uh, a little uh, fun fact about these needlefish right here is they will bite the mess out of you. So right now we're at four different species, which uh, is pretty cool. I didn't know what to expect just because it's been so long since I've hit this area, but I'm not disappointed. Another bait going right here. Love it. It's gotta be some more big mangroves or something sitting in here, I would think. Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite. Oh, we just got bit. I don't know what it was. Something's definitely trying. There's a bite, there's the bite. Got him, there he is. Oh, it is a mangrove. Oh, come here, little guy though. That's okay. <clears throat> Man, they're ferocious. Now that's just a small guy we're gonna release him, but he hit it like a 14 inch, <laughs> you just never can tell. <clears throat> Pretty fish though. All right, buddy, I'm gonna walk you down here, get you as close as I can. There we go. Line's frayed up. Those mangroves like that will uh, get you in the structure, and that is not good to fish with frayed line. My knot that I just tie when I'm doing this is just a regular, whatever, fisherman's knot. Wrap it six times through the loop, through the big loop. then pull it tight, super simple, super quick. All right, let's get another bait out. Hope for another good strike here. Hopefully this time it's a big one. There's a bite, there's a fish. Oh my gosh, guys, another needle fish. Holy cow, this one's hooked too. Y'all check out this needlefish. You're definitely gonna need pliers for him. He's got some serious teeth. This is the best way to release them right here. Just kind of clip their mouth shut and toss them back. I will say this, every bait that is hitting the water right now is getting hit by something. So that's kind of cool. Let's keep it going. Little different area this time. You can get them to go down, uh, the needlefish are already on them. Man, those needles are fierce. If you can get the bait to go down, the mangroves will hit it, but then again, I don't want to put too much weight on it. Oh, there's a big one, there's a big one, holy cow. Come on, that's a good one. Holy cow, he about snatched the dang rod out of my hand. Oh, 
There's another good one, y'all. Check this out, y'all. Another nice keeper mangrove snapper. Again, public spot, free to fish. Anyone can fish here. I'm just showing you that you can be successful. You don't have to have super top secret spots to catch fish. You know, I've kind of built this channel around hitting super public areas that anybody can do that's relatable, you know, and that's what I like doing. Let's keep it going. We are, uh, we're doing all right right now. No complaints. Quality fish. Quality, quality fish. All I'm doing is freelining this. No weight, letting it drift in the current. You don't need a boat. Ooh, there's another one. You, you, there's another one. You don't need a boat to be successful. I had a boat for 10 years. Trust me. Little mangrove right here, y'all. Wearing them out. Anytime I am uh, fishing, I use the lightest amount, amount of weight that I can get away with. And that is always worked well for me. You also want to keep a real... Oh, there's something blowing up on him. I don't think that was a, a mangrove. That's a, that's a pinfish. Get away, dude. I don't want a pinfish. Good gracious. He got he, he bit my tail off. Stupid pinfish. Hey, gum it. Well, I can tell you this. Woo! Oh, oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. Got him. Oh, he's in the rocks. He's in the rocks. Come here. Got another one. Got another one. Get out. Get out. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. He's got me in the rocks. He's got me in the rocks. Yeah, gum it. That was a good fish, too. I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of free spool him and see if he'll come out, ooh, without killing myself. Got him. He's out. He's out. He's out. Come on. Got him. <laughs> free spooling, dude. Works every time. That is awesome. Another nice mangrove right here. If you ever get your fish stuck in the rocks like that, it's always important to free spool them, and then he'll usually swim out, which is exactly what happened. I would call the first video in my random spots series a success. Uh, like I said, it's been years since I've hit that area. We got our speckled trout here, by the way, that I'm going to clean up. We're using our silver stag knife right here that a subscriber was nice enough to send me. I think this is the same knife that deer meat for dinner uses. It's super sharp. These trout are pretty easy to clean. You just have to uh, get their air sac out of the way. You can't cut, you can't hardly cut through that guy right there. Um, however, I really enjoy, and, and I think that, you know, a lot of times we get too caught up as content creators with like trying to find the biggest and the best fish and the best spots, when in reality, I think it, it's cool to be relatable and to just go to a spot like I went to today that anybody could stop at and anyone can be, uh, have an opportunity to be successful and I really want to showcase that. Oh, is that Roe? Yeah, that's Roe. Mm -hmm. Check that out. That is Roe. That's a lot. Now one thing with speckled trout uh, is they're really good but their meat uh, can get a little bit mushy and so you've got to clean them pretty quick after you catch them. This one's already starting to get a little mushy but still gonna be an awesome fillet. I had to change clothes. I was like soaking wet. It's like 105 degrees in the shade <laughs> when you're fishing out there. It gets uh, so hot but we fried this trout up right here. Y'all take a look. That's some good looking, uh, fresh speckled trout fried. It's hard to beat. It's one of my favorites. We made some homemade tartar sauce to go with it here. And I think one of the coolest, let me try it real quick. That's good. If you like those style videos where uh, I go to a random location, 
that is uh, a very public spot and try to catch a keeper fish, shoot me a thumbs up. I'll be happy to do more. I'll tell you what, too. We just gave our podcast a makeover. <clears throat> I want you to go check this out. I'm going to link it in the first comment. We just posted a new video on our podcast channel, and we, got, we gave our whole background a makeover. The whole podcast room got a makeover. Y'all go check it out. Follow the podcast channel. We're going to be trying to put out one a week moving forward. And so if you like that style video too, go check it out. Other than that, folks, appreciate you watching. We'll catch you next time.